Tim, many congratulations. You've just beaten the reigning champion, Peter Wright, to reach the last 16 here. Just put into words what that means to you. Well, it means the world, uh, obviously, um, winning against one of the best players in the world, um, the reigning champion. Um, yeah, I've, I've done what I had to do. It wasn't the performance, um, I have to be honest. Peter Wright wasn't there. He didn't play his, not even his B game, I think. But um, fair play to me. I took my chances where I could and um, I beat him. A lot of players would bottle it because they're playing the name Peter Wright and um, I've done what I had to do and I'm, I'm very happy with that. You've had a lot of success on the big stage in your career, but would you say this is one of the biggest wins, certainly in recent years you've had? Um, it's one of the biggest wins, not one of my best wins, but it's one of the biggest wins, yeah. And Peter, we saw him change his darts after the second set, then midway through the third set. Were you thinking then, I've got him here? I didn't even realise. He does add so much, so I didn't pay attention. Um, to be honest, um, my tactic, well, tactics, my game plan before the game was just play your own game, put him under pressure, outscore him, outfinish him. And I think, I think Gary Anderson puts it in a good way. If you want to play somebody, outscore him, outfinish him, and that's the way you beat somebody. And I think that was the only thing I was thinking about. It doesn't matter what he does. If he changes darts, flights, stems, doesn't matter. I'd score him, I'd finish him, and um, that's a bit what I did today. We saw you had a lot of support from the Belgian fans here at Ali Pali tonight. Yeah. Just how much did that mean to you to have them cheering you? It means the world. Darts in Belgium is now massive. It's, it's huge, and I have to thank the people over there. I have to thank the people from television because they make it so big. Um, we've got a Belgian last 16 game now for Belgium. This is massive because I've played uh, 11 or 12 World Championships. It's never been so big as this moment, so um, it's, it's, it's huge, it's huge. So I'm very happy and I'm thankful for all the Belgian fans. You mentioned there the all Belgian last 16 tie against Dimitri, your World Cup teammate. Just what are your thoughts on that matchup? Yeah, it's going to be a good game. Uh, Dimitri's the favourite, obviously. Um, he's got money to defend. He's the, the current number one in Belgium. He's a top 16 player, so um, he's going to have to beat me. I'm just going to play like I did today. Um, try to outscore him, try to outfinish him. If that doesn't work, then he'll win. If that works today, uh, like today, then I'll win. Perfect. Cheers, Kim. Thank you. Kim, congratulations. Just on your Belgium tie, even when he'd overtaken you in the rankings, he always referred to you as the captain. Do you think that may have a bearing on the fact that he still looks up to you at all? Yeah, I know Dimitri, he's a very respectful person. He will be that always. If he, if he wins or loses, it doesn't matter. He's a, he's a really nice guy and um, he always, like you said, refers me to the captain. But I think when we're on stage, he's not going to think about it. I'm not going to think about it. We both will play our own game. And um, it's going to be one of them hard games, but we're going to have to get through them. How much did going home for Christmas have a bear on it? Because we spoke to you beforehand and you couldn't wait to go home yeah. after the last few years. Did that have a real impact on you coming back in such a good spirit and mood and everything like that? It was massive. It's the first time in three years that I spent Christmas uh, Eve at home. And just watching the faces of your kids unwrap presents, it's, ah, it's the best feeling in the world. On the game itself, obviously you said you didn't realise that Peter had changed arts, but we know he does it. But do you think it's finally caught up with him? a little bit, all the constant chopping and changing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, he told me before the game that he was feeling really nervous. Um, we had a chat before and I, I, from that chat I could feel he wasn't very comfortable. And um, I was thinking, you know, this might be the day and this might be the chance to just beat him. And, and um, it doesn't really matter if he changes darts, stems, flights. That's what he does all the time and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it affects his game, not mine, and, and that's what you have to think about. It, it can't affect your game, what he does. Kim, thank you very much. Thank you. Kim, you seem to be so happy and, and comfortable up there, and you have been throughout the couple of games you, you've played. What, what do you put that down to? Um, I've just enjoyed the game again. Um, I've been uh, in the top, top 10 of the world, top 16 of the world, and um, it was in a, in a difficult period in my life then, um, and I couldn't really enjoy it then because I had so much private things going on and now I'm top 32, I'm not even close to the top 10 but I'm enjoying it and I think that's the most important thing um, whatever you do in, in your life, you have to enjoy what you do mm. That game against Dimitri could, is, could be a really big moment for you back in the, the last 16 of the World Championship there's huge opportunities at, at stake yeah, yeah, it's for both of us um, there's a place in the quarterfinals on the on the spot. So uh, I think as well for him as for me that it's massive. 
Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna perform like we always do. We're gonna try our best, and uh, the better man will win on the day. Talked, you talked about before about being back in that elite, back in that top 16, getting to a world's quarter final with the amount of money that's at stake for the rankings. That's sort of the first step towards it, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, um, the world's makes your makes your season. Um, if you had a terrible season and you you have a good world championships, quarterfinals, semi-finals, doesn't matter. It just makes up for everything. Um, and the other way around as well, you can have a brilliant season and you can lose the first or the second round. It's, it ruins your season, mentally-wise. So the World Championships is the biggest tournament of the year. No matter what anyone says, um, Peter Wright's one of the best players. He's won majors, but this game ruins his season. And, and it, it, World Championships is massive. Perfect. Cheers for Thank you.